Hi, my name is Sandy Jarraj. I'm from The Sustainable Investor. We have decades of experience in both sustainability and financial markets, and our aim is to enable you to have expert conversations and make that time with your clients, colleagues and advisors more impactful. So a story that caught our eye this week was in the shipping space. Now, we're all familiar with Tesla catalyzing the growth in EVs and the potential for them to do the same with freight transportation with the upcoming Tesla Semi. But another mode of freight transportation, shipping, could be about to go the same way. So are battery electric ships growing up? Before I talk about that, why do we care about shipping? Here's some context. More than 80% of traded goods by volume are transported on ships. It's an important mode of transport, but shipping is a big emitter of a number of harmful gases. Sulfur dioxide, which is highly acidic when mixed with water, causing, amongst other things, acid rain. Nitrogen oxides, which can cause a wide number of health issues. And finally, international shipping accounts for almost 3% of global energy-related CO2 emissions. Regulation and innovation in fuels and how ships are powered is an important path to reducing that. And battery electric powered ships are one solution, but have been limited to small ferries until now. Last week, Costco Shipping Heavy Industry completed the floating of the first of two 700 TEU electric container ships being built for the company's Yangtze regional operation. The Yangtze River has just under 65,000 kilometers of navigable waterways and represents half of China's inland shipping mileage. The vessels will have the largest installed battery capacity on a ship to date, with 36 replaceable containers acting as the power source along a 600 mile route to the sea. The batteries will be recharged at stations along the route, and even accounting for the batteries, the ships could carry almost 16,000 metric tons of cargo. Sea trials will begin in late September of this year. Now, this demonstrates that there is a role to play for battery electric in larger and longer distance shipping alongside alternative fuels, including low sulfur ones. However, alternative fuels are still not at scale that can support current shipping behavior globally. So we need to find other ways to reduce emissions in conjunction. And the cheapest and greenest energy is the one we don't actually use. If we look at another sector, the built environment, improvements in energy efficiency, such as insulation, are key to decarbonizing that sector. Well, shipping has its own insulation, if you like, or ways in which, even if the type of fuel remain the same, the amount consumed can be reduced. In a recent blog for The Sustainable Investor, we introduced four main categories of energy efficiency for shipping. Fuel consumption, which includes slow steaming, improved hull design, and propulsion and trim optimization. Onboard energy efficiency, or in other words, reducing how much energy is consumed by non-propulsion systems like lighting and heating. Voyage optimization, minimizing the distances that need to be traveled. And finally, port optimization, minimizing the energy consumption by the ship when it's stationary at port. You can read more about it at thesustainableinvestor.org.uk.